y'all, I'm in um, Mexico. And I'm embarrassed to say, everything is in Spanish. Like, I know Coke is, but like, let me show y'all an example. I'm gonna show y'all an example. I know that means babies. I'm embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. That means perfume, pharmacy. So, if I wanted to buy any of this stuff, I could only go buy looks like Lady Speed Stick, okay, okay. Dove, Invisible. I mean, I guess that's their travel section. But, Jesus. Don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to, you know, figure out. I mean, that, the translation, I mean, I feel so embarrassed. I don't know nothing. I don't either. This is my room from Mexico. It's like a garage, but it's building on fire over there, y'all. I don't know what's going on, but I hope everything, I pray that everybody is safe get it put out soon but look at this side so everything here as I was saying in my last clip is in Spanish but look at the and I know our the US exchange rate is much higher than theirs but we gonna work for vervent okay vervent but this city we're in Tijuana Mexico is thriving this is non-stop like even at nighttime i'm gonna give you all a nighttime view it's so pretty but the people are very very nice look at that man up there taking a photo a video right there you see him right there right there he take a picture of the same thing i hope pray that everybody's okay but I'm here on my little business. Got a little business in Tijuana. My little business. I like the houses in the hills. It's so pretty up there. At nighttime, it's really pretty. And up there, too. A little business. I'll give y'all a tour of the room a little later because I'm hungry. And I'm about to go to Wasabi Japanese restaurant. That. Yeah, but it's very nice. It's busy as heck. I just went for a morning walk. Well, it ain't morning now. It's, it's um a little after one o'clock, but I went for a morning walk. I'm about to shower, take a nap before my next meeting. But yeah, I'm in Tijuana. Tijuana, very nice. Hey guys, welcome back to Dream Designs by Ty. I am in Tijuana, Mexico working. This is my basic hotel room. and But in today's video, we're going to be repotting for plants, shopping at Hobby Lobby, and at home. I'm on my way to um, the at-home store and Hobby Lobby. I'm trying to get pots for those two plants I bought for my dining room. Um, I was thinking about leaving a tall, big one in that little wicker like basket, but no, ain't gonna work. And then I need one for the, uh, the smaller plant as well. So I am on my way to at home and Hobby Lobby. Let's see what I can find. 
Oh, I got a good parking spot right up front. Right up front. Mm. Yes, right up front. All right, let's head into at here. At here. I like that one right there. So if you have an outdoor project at home, got the pots for you. Look at this one. This one's cute. That's cute. This one's cute. sale as well so um okay this one was cute right here a ball pot I don't think I've seen it so pretty. That pot. I do like this pot though. I think it's too big. It might not be. get somebody to get it in. Okay, let me look around here one more time. Let me not take the cart because they're not equipped to handle carts. Hold on. Mm -mm, I like that one. I'm going to have to ask somebody to get it for me. I think I want the black one. That one up there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go look around again and come back. So if I can um, find somebody to do it for me. These are so pretty. Look at this. That's pretty. So, so pretty. Let me see how much those are. Hold on. Okay, so these are 39 and that's 49. So that's gotta be like $59. Very, very cute. Okay. There are some more. I like the texture of this one. That texture is pretty. Pots. 
pretty. That ain't a heavy. Nope, don't want a heavy pot. These two to get your um, artificial plants and things like that. The realistic looking ones. Get them at the house store. I purchased these two pots. This was a lot of Lobby over there next door. I'm going to have to paint that black. That don't look black to me. The small one look black. See, don't they look different colors? But they black. It ain't black enough for me. So I'm going to repaint it black. All right, let's head to Hobby Lobby. Some um, faux moss stuff to put in the planters. These are so pretty. Jordan Co. One Eight, please. Jordan Co. One Eight. Those look pretty. Oh, here we go, right here. <clears throat> Let's see. Spanish moss. Oh, I don't want the Spanish moss. This Spanish. Espanol moss. The 1299. I'm gonna need, I don't want the green, I want this one. <clears throat> Should I get four? Hmm, yeah, let me get four. Four bags, and I'm done, y'all. I am done. Oh, hell. Look, one fell out the bag. Oh, crap. Hold on, y'all. I just left um, Hobby Lobby. Got the Spanish moss. I got four bags of those. Those should be enough. If I have any extra, then I'll put some of my other planters so they can all be cohesive. Cohesive. So I got these little sphere round ribbed um, pots from at home. This one was $29.99 and they were 20% off. And I'm gonna put the, my folk um, family plants in it. Okay, and this one was 40. 49, 29, I'm sorry, 20, $30, $29.99, $39.99, and they were 20% off, so yeah, so with this one, the short one, I bought it at TJ Maxx, and usually they come in like a little basket like that, but this one didn't, or something like that. So I was like, okay, I can work it with myself. So when, I don't need to just sit any higher because it's just, I like the height of it, but I want to put the moss in it so I won't have to pack it with stuff. So anytime you have it, you don't have to pack it, you don't have to buy. I wouldn't buy 
anything to pack it with. I would just use what you have. So I've been getting packages like from Amazon and stuff like that or bags or something and just fill it up to about here so you can put moss on top. So let me, I got some paper in this back room. So I grab it. Inner packing fluffy stuff. I just kept it because I'm going to use it one day. And today is the day. I'm going to save these coffee thing ones for a big pot. Because yeah. they fill with air. Even bags. You can use it. four bags of this Spanish moss. Because I have other plants I want to put it on top of as well. So I'm going to start with this one. Let's get on the floor. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. take it out of this basket. Oh, shoot. Mess it up the chandelier. The chandelier. Okay, so it already has the Spanish moss in here. So I'm not going to take it out of this, this basket. I'm going to put this basket in here.
Oh, this stuff is a mess. But they're so pretty. Okay, so now we gotta clean it up. Let's see. Yeah, put it back in place where I like it. Sweep the counter. look right. perfect and we put this one back in its corner Ugh. perfect Now, I gotta clean this up. Just get the vacuum and stuff out. But let me show y'all what they looks like. There we go. So this little fiddle leaf plant looks like it's perfect in this corner right here. And there's the big one in that corner. It looks very, very good. Okay, now let me clean up that. Okay, so. Just I have a little bit of spinach, a little sleeve. Put some in this plant too. Oh, 
to me, hiding all the bow plants. This is a ficus bow tree. I got this from Amazon. This thing is huge. The pot I got from the Home Depot. So I need this to stand straight like this. And I'm gonna stuff it with all this stuff. In. Closer look. And that's how I potted my faux plant. She tall too. Yeah. 